Hi everybody, my name is Irma. I am sitting in the Maya site in Belize in an area on excavation that is named um, Shunan Tunich. And it's right outside the town of uh, San Jose and San Ignacio um, in alongside like the rainforest of Belize. And there are some amazing, amazing pyramids and ruins that are here. Um, as you can see, one is right behind me. And it's really interesting to um, come in contact with um, some old archaeological, archaeologically found sites that um, have so much history to them. And the reality of it is, is that many archeologists and historians and um, people along the way have been trying in all kinds of interpretations to understand the meaning and the purpose and the manners in which the Maya civilization actually lived. And um, although there are many theories and there are many, um, many, that would, many of which like are, are co coincide and support one another, there's also like this big area that remains a mystery. And um, it remains a mystery because it suggests information that the human spirit might not be ready to accept. And so it gets dismissed. And what I have been practicing a lot lately is, and what I, what I usually find when I find myself in resistance <laughs> to things, it's when I find that there is a dichotomy um, that happens between the heart and the mind. The mind being the tool that we constantly operate on. The mind being what um, oftentimes guides our decisions and actions and um, needs to have proof and data and information in order to, for things to make sense, in order for us to be able to digest them and have them be sensible and reasonable. And when you come to sites like this, there's so many things that the mind cannot explain that I find that the heart really starts to take over. And it's the practice that I have been in most recently is paying attention to my heart and not disregarding, but quieting my mind down so that I can hear the things that my heart and my genuine spirit intuition already know, even when and even in spite of there being any rational explanation for things. Um, I found that this um, ability to quiet the mind and tune into the heart is one that's easier to do when in nature um, because there's so many things about nature that are also mysterious but so many things about nature that make so much sense as well and look there's some beautiful validation coming in from the amazing wind. It's been about 90 degrees the last couple of days that I've been out here and I'm not complaining. It's March 2019 and we have had a brutal winter in Chicago. I think it was like six degrees there at home yesterday. So this is very, very welcome. Um, but what I want to do is, is just kind of take, uh, take a couple of minutes and guide us through a heart-brain harmonization exercise that I actually, um, it incorporates a lot of like yogic and pranayama techniques that I've already learned and taught. Um, but most recently, I have been studying the works of Greg Braden, who is a spiritual scientist. And he has um, done numerous studies that actually prove how beneficial it is to connect to the heart and to harmonize it with the brain. So I love the way he goes about things because his data and information helps to satisfy this need for having proof that things work. Um, and for me, I've always kind of noticed the benefits in my body without having, having to know or even being able to explain the scientific um, or tangible sort of um, effects of these practices. So. Um, 
the way that he guides us into um, into this practice is, is is what I will I will take us through here. Wherever it is that you are, if you can find a safe place to gently either close your eyes or soften your gaze, go ahead and do that. And that automatically will bring your attention inward, and in a certain sense, kind of like um, takes and calms down the external world. So I'm keeping my eyes partially open because I don't want any of my items to fly away down the hill. When you do that, then bring your awareness to your breath and take any hand and place a hand right over your heart center so that the actual action of touching in that part of your body helps to guide the mind and the awareness towards your heart. Once you have your attention there, then slow your breathing down. There's some activity going on behind me, probably below too. But I'm going to keep my attention inward. And notice my breathing as I slow it down. While I have my attention on my heart, then bring your awareness, your thoughts, to a person, place, or thing that raises the sensation of appreciation, care, gratitude, any of those. And with that person, place, or thing that's generating this, these sensations within you, those feelings within you, continue, have, continue to have your attention on your breathing, taking slow, deep breaths. And what we're doing is activating a harmonization between the heart and the brain. If you continue this practice for at least three minutes, Greg Braden has validated that there are numerous physical, physiological, emotional benefits that run through the body. And they actually, the benefits of that continue on for like a six to eight hour period after a three minute practice. And aside from the physical and tangible benefits, what it also does is that it starts to strengthen your ability to go inward and to connect with what your heart is telling you when your mind is not able to provide the answers or solutions or the explanations for things. And what I found that when I work with my heart is that sometimes there is no answer to be found. That there is maybe just an acceptance that there is a mystery to our life. And living in that mystery and that wonder, for me, makes this planet so much more magical, wondrous, and such a beautiful experience to have and live. Take this practice with you wherever it is that you might be. And for now, I'm signing off as I'm hearing some action behind me. Ciao, baby. This is Irma. I hope that you follow me on my YouTube channel, Juntas. Almost like, I'm forgetting the name now, Hunan Tunic. Juntas is my channel, Juntas on this earth where you can find other tidbits and other videos that I've recorded from my visits around the world. Ciao baby! <laughs>